Grand Rising. Hello, what's up everybody? Today is Saturday. Today is graduation day for my little cousin Darius. Shout out to him. He's about to receive his master's degree. Period. So, um, I'm extra amp, so I'm trying to get to my aunt house so I can get in the car with my other aunt because my other aunt, which is his mother, is already there. Um, so we, we have an hour and 45 minute drive. So we all have to, we're gonna just meet up together. And yeah. So let's talk about last night. Let's talk about it. Okay, I had a good time and it was nice. I had a good time dancing with him and just doing what I wanted to, you know, just bringing in my birthday, having a good, having a good time bringing in his birthday with him. So it was nice. I felt, I was trying to tell you guys last night um, on the vlog right before he got back into the car about how I felt when I looked in the mirror getting ready like to go out you know, like you're about to go out and you're about to have a good time and like turn up and, and you know like when you were younger you dance and listen to the music and you just like get in a zone I was looking at myself where I was like you know put, get, getting my face together and getting everything together and I was just like epiphany like I already know that I'm, I'm a beautiful woman but like 36 looking good on me like you know I was a little worried about it. I was a little I was a little like oh I hope I don't look like an old lady worrying about <laughs> I already knew I wouldn't look like an old lady because I'd be doing this magical spell work on myself to just make me look you know and feel wonderful about myself but it was just the look that I gave myself like I was like girl you can get it <laughs> like you can get it but yeah so so we went out to the party and um he paid you know paid for us to get into the party or whatever and we had our own private table or whatever and it was just nice it was a nice party um i have i have been to that club before um at another party before i think i posted on here with my friend it was someone else's birthday so they that particular place that they have they have uh, it's a club that you have to pay for alcohol and stuff but you can also have parties and you can also have paid admission and things like that but i know you probably like okay but anyway that's that's what what it was it was nice um and i had a good time and we were drinking on hennessy and Duce. Yeah, I was on that. I was on one. Yeah. She like Andy and Krista. Like, I was on that. So, but once 12 came, I was like, okay, I'm going to slow it down. And let Bay start, you know, just drinking by himself. And I'm clearing myself out because I had to drive us home. Cause it's time for him to turn up for his birthday. But he was turning up already. But it was just, it was like a, it felt like, how we were when we before we became you know husband and wife when we just had, had children and we were just always focusing on our babies and focusing on you know what we supposed to be doing as far as mother uh, mother and father and you know just paying bills and taking care of the family part last night felt like how we used to be when we was younger teenagers like having fun with each other dancing and you know and then the thing about it is being married to a Sagittarius like myself the male version is not any opposite of what I am. Like, he's basically similar to how I am as far as, like, the adventurous part of optimistic, just out of, you know, we, we can vibe in our own settings. So, my husband, he was, he was you know, walking around, talking to friends and family that was there, and I was doing the same thing on my own end, you know. But to be honest with you, I didn't know anybody there. Um, my 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 in-laws, you know, my my brother-in-law was there and my cousin-in-laws was there, but I didn't know the other people other than you know the, from the neighborhood. Love meeting people that had the same birthday as me. I don't know why I do. I just be wanna just see how they act. Um, and I always call my birthday twin. Most of the time, when I meet somebody that's that's a Sagittarius or born around the time I was born, they have dope ass energy less people and I'm not just saying it because who I am. Um most I'm just saying about most of the serious people people give give out we give out the thought that we are 
like wild child because we are wild we're gonna do adventurous things but most of the time we're laid back we really chill we don't really, we're really not into all the drama we really really, really just want to have a good time vibe baby but don't ever try a Sagittarius I'm just being honest with y'all and not just because who I am like if you try a Sagittarius on another level like and on some hating shit or just trying to do something to harm them you're gonna mess up every time like you're gonna really mess up every time because I never met a Sagittarius that didn't know how to fight and then and if they and when they're fighting they're not fighting to just fight you they're fighting to fucking unalive you <laughs> from what I done seen I have never met one that just been like I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock your ass and just be done with just rock you now, now they be wanting to steal they be wanting to snatch your soul from everyone like my husband I, like back in the day when I done seen him fight and or you know, either just seeing him on a level upset like it's hard to calm us down so just leave us be let us stay cool calm and cool let you know we chilling we, we vibe we have a good time most of the time you know, people like to say Sagittarius are always drunk that is sure if you're a low vibrational Sagittarius because I was once a low vibrational Sagittarius and I was always fucking drunk and there's no excuse for it but at that time I was losing a lot of people was passing away things was just affect hitting me left to right so I was always goddamn drunk and I was thinking about that like yeah I was swag on 100 I always gonna dress nice I always gonna smell good but I was fucked up drunk and never really was a drinker but now I know I know my limit and I and I just be like hey I'm gonna drink me some I'm gonna hydrate now and I'm gonna let you do you you do you. You have your good time. I will sip me some water and to the side for me to drive. Like, that's just me. I'm not... I know I got three kids, including a little brother that's to be here for, so I focus on keeping me... Like, my husband, he was kind of driving. He, he always said he's scared of my driver. I always said I'm scared of his driver. He was driving fast as hell last night to me. So, he... <laughs> He was driving really fast last night, y'all. And I was just like, hey, you got precious car going here. <laughs> he busted out laughing at me. Like, I said, I don't know, I don't know how you drive when you when you ain't got me in the sky. But if you got precious car going here today, you gonna have, you gonna have to drive the speed, drive this drive the speed limit. Hell, you might need to drive below it, cause the way the way I feel, shit. <laughs> but he just I mean, but he tell me that I drive. He feels as if he said I drive crazy. Like he, he says I drive fast too, but I don't drive as fast as him. He he was like, like I'm not like, baby the club gonna be there. He said, babe, I got us a spot. We're gonna be in there, and I was like, well, if you pay for our spot, we're gonna be fine. Like why you driving so damn fast? But uh, I will tell you guys when I went into the to the club. I'm not gonna. I mean, I don't really, really like people, so it was kind of was cool. But I was like, where the people at? <laughs> Crickets. And, you know, like, but the DJ was dope, so that that didn't even matter to me. But I was like, cool, that's cool, shit. You know. Um. So I was like, the DJ was dope, so I could just dance and enjoy myself. And but I didn't. I didn't see a whole lot of people because last time I went in that club, it was packed in there. So I, I always mentally prepare myself for packed places when we go out somewhere. But. It was um, if you was in a social service club, um, you know how you pay to go to a party, and it's all you can eat, all you can drink type of feel. That's how it was, and that's that's exactly what it was. Like a pay to eat, eat all you eat, all you can drink till it's gone type of thing. Um, but we had a good. I'm not gonna say, but I had a good time because that's the type of shit I like. Like man, if you look at my videos, I want um, I did a clip. Of me and my husband because his birthday I always do us a, a um, slideshow or whatever he we always go to like ducked off hole in the wall places if we do go I mean we go out to the to the main clubs too um but I really I live in Birmingham Alabama y'all it, it really is I'm not trying to down my city because I, I love where I'm from but 
this ain't the place to just go out and be out all the time because everybody else not is not going out to just have fun. Other people is going out because they on some war shit. Hold on for just a second, you guys. Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. I got a phone call and I got footstep by Darius. It's like you running late. Uh, 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 uh. You the one behind. I'm on my way. I'm like five minutes away. Um, but yeah, so it was a, a dope thing. Like I told you guys, I really don't be thinking about celebrating my birthday like that because I like to do things like go out to eat or something. So we are supposed to go out to eat later tonight. So that's that's my thing I like to do. What my husband did last night, it was something that, like I said, he planned, he's planning everything. He's planning, um, so we went out to eat. I mean, we went, we went dancing to a, to a spot where he thought was a, for, like, for, for he thought was gonna have a good time. Cool. So, tonight is gonna be my night where I do my romantic, nice cocktails, good cuisine, food, you know, and just vibing on a one-on-one -on -one level, just me and him. So, so I thought, I'm gonna make it to the graduation and then come back home the rest of my birthday and my birthday weekend with my significant other and that's a good feeling for me it's 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 beautiful to me because a lot of people don't really like they their person the person they just don't like them they like i don't know i just i don't even know i'm just there and it i'm not gonna tell y'all no lie sometimes i be feeling that way about my husband i'm like oh no What's wrong with you? And I mean, he probably be saying the same thing about me. But that's what that's what makes marriages. That's what makes relationship work. You have to put in work. Like you can't just be saying, "I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know. I don't know. I'm 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 about ready." Because that's what everybody jump up to. Once you once you get on my nerves, and I'm ready to leave it. And I am like that too. You know, like I'm like that with a lot of. I was close and would fight for friendships. But I felt as if if it was straining my straining me and keeping me from exceeding and and feeling the loving spirit that I have flourishing, I don't want to be around it. I'd rather just be to myself. So and it's hard and it's like a grief that you go through when you have to stop being friends with someone that you love. It's like a grief that you go through. It's a it's a hurtful feeling because you love that person that person is your best friend or if you thought that person was your best friend and you you're missing it's like losing a loved one because the reason why i said it because my cutoff game is strong like my first child father he you know we, we didn't make it we didn't work out it's not any bad blood or anything but I went through a grieving stage when we didn't work out because that was a plan. It was a plan I made. I was supposed to marry him. And you know, like I told you guys before, that was something I had in my brain, you know. And when that didn't work, I went through a grieving period. But I got over it and it was fine. So, and now we're, we have a relationship, co parenting relationship. Uh, we're actually, I actually to talk to him about planning our daughter's 13th birthday party next year. We're going to get done with Christmas first. But yeah, so. It's no, it's nothing wrong with letting certain things go. You know, it's just about how you let it affect you forever. If you let it affect you and keep you down forever, then you'll stay there. Um, but honestly, before I said that, I would stay into situations and I would stay into friendships just because of the longevity of how long we were friends or how long we knew each other. And it was no, it had ran its course. Sometimes you, um, you go separate ways because you're, you're doing separate things. Your beliefs are different. Your way of thinking, your lifestyle is, is different. So I married, I'm married to my husband and it's a lot of things that we do differently, but there's a lot of things that we do alike. So we just have to make sure we put in that work, y'all. And if you are married and if you are having any type of trials or tribulations within your marriage or your relationship, because I'm not I'm not a judgy person when it comes to that. If you want to have a legal union, because that's all it really is, um, then that's fine on paperwork. But it's all about the spiritual union. If you don't if you're not spiritually connected to one person that you that you decided to spend your life with, 
it does not matter that you're um, married on paperwork. Just want to put that in the air to people. I'm not saying just go out there and sleep with people, husband and wives, y'all not, because you know that's how people do y'all here in this internet world. I'm trying to tell you that if you marry and you're all, you're you're just the person that you're with is not spiritually connected to each other, you, like if you just got married, just say that you're married, because I know a lot of people do that. And it's no connection to it for real. You just want to say that you're married. It's probably going to have a, a terrible um, outcome. Um, but if you're if you're married and you really feel like you're spiritually connected to that person, I mean, if you're not married and you feel like you're spiritually connected to that person, y'all been together, and everybody else in society is making you feel like something is wrong with you because you and your 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 significant other is not on paperwork married i understand and i understand it because that's how it how it is you know people will judge that but well, what, what you gonna do if something happens to them they pass away they have life insurance you have wills you have all that stuff so that's so that's that ain't the reason why i got worried about why these people are not married yeah i just want to talk mess about what you feel is legally married to you so if you want to have a spiritual bond with somebody you can call them your husband or wife i done seen it plenty of time but I just know people only jump up and get married sometimes just just to say that they're married and then they end up divorcing right down the line. Like I was with my husband years when we got married. I, it was never a big a big you gonna marry me type of thing. Like if he when he was ready to marry me, he was ready to marry me. When I was ready to marry him, I was ready to marry him. Like well, y'all always gotta be in people's business. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so let me, um, get my tail to my aunt house before they leave me. <laughs> if you are subscribed to my channel, can you press the bell to know every time I make a post, you know, so you can see and stay in the loop of what's going on. So you won't have to, like, I didn't know she made a video and didn't have to know how to catch y'all up. You know, just ring that bell. Little jingling, 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 you know. Um, it's a lot more coming, you guys. I will tell you, this has been a, a rocky thing for me, and I just want to keep going and doing it, so I'm not going to give up. Never, never going to give up. Never, never going to give up, because my goal is to be to one, over 1,000 subscribers. Let's be real, but to at least get to 1,000 so I can become monetized to make extra money for my home more money comes to me money more money flows you know but okay you guys i will see you later he's, he's a little nervous y'all but he's about to get his master's degree is this a video or a picture this is my video this oh is my vlog. you know, sitting here posing and stuff i thought it was a i would take a picture of you next but that's all his, his, his stuff that's on him i don't know what none of this stuff means his stuff that's on him and i'm so proud of you now i can take a picture of you you, you can't you can't bring pocketbook and stuff. You can't bring no you can't bring a no shopping bag spree for your birthday present. Ain't bringing no bag. What about the water? Bring no water. But instead you're getting this birthday card. That, ain't no that never got out of style. <laughs> <laughs> Love <laughs> you and we are proud of you. Keep your head up always. Auntie Free and CC. Oh, thank you. Are you So we are waiting on them to get ready to line up and come on in, get everybody seated. I'm doing good. I slip I slip off slip off my hangover. <laughs> but we will see you guys later when we start recording the graduation.
Question, tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring your celly when I'm feeling lonely. When it's all over, please get up and leave. Question, tell me how you feel about this. What's up, y'all? <laughs> I am we're, we're just getting back from out of town for my little cousin's graduation. Turn this light on so you guys can see me. Um, I'm headed back home not gonna go out to dinner today because like I said it's just getting back home as you can see it's dark out and the a sitter that was keeping golden she wasn't um golden was giving her a hard time so we decided we're just gonna go ahead and just let her come on home with us so we're headed I'm heading home with them and um I guess we're gonna watch us a good movie and eat some Dash food or something. I don't know, but I'm not really. Um, it's okay. It's not a big deal about going out somewhere to eat or anything. Um, I went out and danced and was able to be cute for my birthday and had some free time yesterday. So it's understandable. Um, like I told you guys in the previous vlog, Golden is going through her terrible twos. So I only. She's, and then she's also in the state if she only wants me and her dad or her sister her sister, or um, she only wants to be around my aunt and that's you know that's what we're at right now so um, so I'm headed back home right now to uh, get myself situated and spend time with them but the, her graduation was a beautiful moment um, I got teary eyed because it was a, like a black excellent to me. I like seeing all of those beautiful black men and women receiving their degrees, whether it was bachelor's degrees or master degree. They were all receiving their degrees in whatever walk that they wanted to take with their majors. And just seeing that was a beautiful feeling and a wonderful overwhelming feeling to see the a little boy that I remember helping my aunt at the age of 10 years old change his diapers, take care of him. Like he was my little brother slash cousin slash first baby. Like to see him being a man, receiving his master's degree with his, his cape, cap and gown on. You know, I'm very proud of him. I want to first and foremost say that. Um, and I'm, I was, I'm very grateful and gracious to be able to, to share this moment with him, to be there for this moment for him. And it's only up from here. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, I just can't wait to see what he, um, what he does with his, with his self, what his next move is going to be. I know it's going to be a dope move and I'm proud of you, Darius. And, um, yeah, so. We're headed, I'm headed on back home, and I'm happy for being able to do that. Like I told you guys, that was something I was gonna make it a must to do. I don't care, you know. You only really have one birthday when you're born into this world. You can have a birthday celebration, which is fine. I celebrated my life yesterday, but I wanted to celebrate him and also my husband and my aunt, and I did that, and everybody got there special celebration the way they wanted to so i am going to close out the vlog i don't know if i'm gonna call, let me take that back i don't know if i'm gonna close it out yet because i don't know if i'm gonna shoot a little footage when i get home or not but um yeah so i will see you guys later peace you guys i am home so i just ordered some takeout from Applebee's. I wasn't really wanting anything big, so I just I like Applebee's, like appetizers, like the artichoke dip, boneless wings, and um the chicken quesadillas. That's all we ordered, and we're about to watch us some movies. This little person 
right here that you hear running around. Let me catch it so y'all can see her. <laughs> Got put out from the sitter. So she's going to be with mommy and daddy. <laughs> and um, we will see you guys the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I ask you guys to please thumbs up if you like it. Share and subscribe if you love it. Peace, love, and light. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now